Hi everyone, I'm Asma Ulusna. Today, I will talk about the economic views of the physiocrat in the preclassical period. Follow to the end, okay? Physiocrat thinking is a form of criticism mercantilism taught. In the era of mercantilism, the government intervened to accumulate surplus to make the country more prosperous. However, government intervention is enjoyed by entrepreneurs who cooperate with the authorities, so that the welfare of the people is neglected. In the development of economic thought, the physiocrat assumed that the most obvious source of wealth is natural resources. That's why this flow is called physiocratism. Physiocratism comes from two words, physis, which means nature, and kratin or kratos, which means power. They strongly believe in the laws of nature. The physiocrat believed that the economic system is similar to the harmony of nature. Give people freedom and let them do what's best for themselves. The government doesn't need to intervene and let nature rule. That way, all parties will be happy and happy. This is the foreigner of the laissez-faire doctrine or what is currently referred to as a free market economy without government intervention. The physiocrats say that activities that are truly productive for the economy are activities that take advantage of many natural resources such as agriculture and mining. The main figure of the physiocrat flow was Frank K. Kinney. Kinney's book Tableau Economic is the first attempt at making a mathematical model of all aspects of the economy and showing how the relationship between this part of the economy really are. Kine divides society into four groups. 1. The productive class of society, like a farmer. 2. Landlord class or landowner. 3. Unproductive or sterile classes such as merchants and craftsmen. And 4. The working class of society who receives wages and salaries. For Kinney, the compatibility of economic law which nature allow is to make land the only search of people's prosperity, including agriculture, livestock, and mining activities. In this four group, productive classes such as farmers are the real heroes of prosperity, not the merchants who are categorized into unproductive classes. In the development of this talk, Kinney suggested that the policies taken by the government should be aimed primarily at improving the standard of living of the farmers, not to give special rights to landowners and merchants as enjoy under the rule of the mercantilists. Beside Kinney, other physiocrat figures are Jack Sturgot. Turgo was a philosopher and economic who served as Minister of Finance of France in the reign of King Louis XVI. His thinking about the economy is in line with Kine that the search of prosperity comes from nature, especially the agriculture sector. That's why, at that time, Turgo supported that agriculture business could be improved. Turgo also contributed valuable idea for the development of economic science, including 1. The theory of capital formation, and 2. The legal theory of diminishing returns or which will later be formulated as the law of diminishing returns. The next figure is Boyce Gilbert. He was a member of the French judiciary and a landlord who also published several books. His first book was Le Didel de la France and his last book was Factum de la France. Boyce Gilbert developed a series of four ideas aimed at assisting the Minister of Finance. Boyce Colbert claims that agriculture and rural living are some of the best ways to manufacture and shouldn't be promoted at the expense of the rural population. He also announced the laissez-faire formula that when he defended the freedom of wheat export, he identified national income with consumption expenditure. The essence of this physiocrat flow is First, the physiocrat considers the source of stage wealth to be natural resources. And second, the physiocrat prioritizes the agriculture sector. Agriculture activities are considered as a proactive sector that can generate a net production surplus to the community.